Hello people, this is just a quick demonstration of the Lidl's Parkside Hot Mount glue gun I unboxed yesterday. Just got a little, I've got a little craft project, project here I'm just doing for a neighbour. So it's a little, just a quick demonstration to show you basically how it works. Not a lot to see really, but my neighbour bought this the cork board what you, you hang it up hang it up on the wall like to put me, pin memos and like, post-it notes and bits and pieces like that on and it was just square when they bought it but they, they wanted it so it looked like looked like a little house hanging up on the wall so I've, I've cut the corners off cut the corners off a little chimney there like they wanted it so it looks like a little little house with a chimney hanging up on the wall because they, they like that sort of thing next door all right so that's the glue. Got, got it heated up. Glue stick in there, like on its on its power base. Let's see when when it's on. It's got like a got the red indicator light there to show it's on. Hinges up and down like that. Got a little drip 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 tray there for any excess glue, so you don't dribble all over the place. It hasn't actually. Oh, I did put in the review yesterday about, about this, but it, hasn't, it says in the instructions that it's mains or battery powered. It's not battery powered, it's, it's obviously it's mains powered. You plug, plug the mains lead into the, into the base like that. It says when you, when you take it off of the base, it says it's battery powered, but it's not. It just uses the residual heat that's in the, in the gun. It's not, there's no batteries in it. There's no batteries in the gun or the base. That's like, it's like the state they put there. So this is what I'm going to do anyway. I've got these Little bit. I've got them numbered up, so basically all I'm going to do is cork board, it's mainly cardboard, but it's, this is cork board, so. Very well, so it's not. It's not pushing the stick through. What's happening there? Where it's new, it's it's got to fill the it's got to fill the actual gun up with glue before you can. very well.
cut. Well, I have done it eventually, but that wasn't very successful. Not one of my better purchases. The problem when you try and when you try and advance a glue stick to trigger, you don't want to push it through. You can go like that. You only get like a little, a little tiny dribble coming out there. For some reason, the trigger works alright, but it's not, it's not gripping the glue, it's not gripping the glue stick hard enough to push it through. I mean, push it through with your finger like that, but you got, you got to do it like really quick just to get a little bit of glue out. It take me about five minutes or more to do that little job. So. Maybe these glue sticks perhaps are a bit soft. The ones that came with it are slightly, are slightly harder. They may work better. I'll have to try one of those. But they could be better. Wouldn't give that a 10 out of 10. I'd say about 4 out of 10 for that. So not one of Lidl's better purchases. Then again, I'll say I'll have to try the, I'll have to try the harder glue sticks. But they're, they're, they're what it's meant for. But Well, there you go. Not not that impressed particularly. I mean the glue gun's alright, but I've used better tools. The actual glue gun system is alright, but it doesn't just don't want to doesn't don't see it don't want to push the glue through. Oh well. Can't win them all.